Hello everyone, my name is Zach Mueller and you're watching The Insider. I've totally run out of one-liners. Today we'll be talking about the launch of our brand new holiday contest, a new effect by Rick Lax, Morgan Freeman in a magic movie, see-through cards, the release of the Monarchs. Let's see how quickly we can breeze through them. Ready, set, fight! We have just released our brand new holiday contest, which is by far the grandiosest that we've ever done. I don't think grandiosest is a word, I think it's just grandest, but screw it, we're using it. Before I discuss how you can actually enter the holiday contest, let's talk about what everybody really gives a Shin Lim about the prizes. We have five top prizes this year, ranging from one deck of Monarchs to your choice of any three wired downloads. I'm totally kidding. It's way more than that. The prizes are as follows. One person will get a dream brick of our rarest cards with White Centurions, Brown Winds, the original unreleased Gold Monarchs, First Edition Smoke and Mirrors, Propaganda V1, and more. One person will get 50% off anything in our store, whether that be downloads, DVDs, or playing cards, 50% off anything for an entire year. One person will get a wire production kit with a Canon DSLR and more. One person will get a year supply of 144 decks of Monarchs. And one lucky person will get a trip for two to Las Vegas with plane tickets, hotels, David Copperfield tickets, and more all paid for. Oh yeah, that's right. You'll also get backstage passes to meet David Copperfield and his entire creative team. That includes Chris, Homer, Blake, Patrick, Kalen, and Bobby. Most of you know him as B. Smith, but we're on a first name basis. I have actually never met or spoken a word to him. So those are the prizes, but how do you enter? Well, I'm glad you asked vicariously through me in the third person. From now until December 31st, everything you buy on Theory 11 will give you one point. If you buy one DVD, you get one point. One deck of cards, one point. A bag of 41 jelly beans, 41 points. Okay, we don't sell jelly beans yet, but you get the idea. Every point that you have counts as one entry to one of those prizes, but you get to choose how those points are distributed. Let's say you bought a brick of cards. That's 12 decks and 12 points, so technically 12 entries. If you really wanted the Vegas trip, you could put all of those 12 entries into that prize. Or you could put three of them into the wire kit, five of them into the 50% off for a year coupon, and the remaining five into the dream brick. Yes, I'm aware that my math is terribly wrong, but I'm not in class, so I'm not gonna try. That's what high school has taught me. Once you've obtained points, or point if you are extremely lucky, you can decide which prize you'd like that point or points to go to. There's a private page on the site that will allow you to do that once you've signed into your account, but it's very technical and I don't wanna get into that and bore you. I'm already boring you? I apologize. That is our holiday contest in a nutshell, so go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, you have waited a very long time, and tonight, we have finally released the Monarchs. Well, actually, it was this morning because we release things at 11 a.m. as opposed to 11 p.m. from now on, but they still look schmexy. The box is easily the most awesome playing card box that I have ever seen with these gold embossed scrolls and inks. It's very cool, and the cards themselves look awesome as well. I consider them kind of as if a Greek god had sex with a deck of playing cards, and then that baby was shoved into an awesome playing card box. I agree, it's kind of a weird image. I'm realizing that now, but... You get the idea. So definitely go check those out in our playing card section if you haven't already. We also released a brand new move by Rick Lax called High Rise, which confuses me both sexually and in the fact that I don't know how it works. I've asked them multiple times to tell me and they continue to torture me. I would buy it, but I'm broke. They don't pay me anything for this. I'm just kidding with you guys. I'm making boatloads. Combine the awesome move with awesome instruction and awesome camera work from Mr. Jick, and you get a pretty awesome download. Folks, I would love to say that that's all we've released tonight, but tonight is 11, 11, 11, and we are not done yet. We also released a new playing card gimmick that is one of the neatest and oldest card gimmicks in all of Magic, the Hoff Sensor card. If you don't know, the Hoff Sensor card is a special playing card that when held up to the light, you can see the value of the card right through the pasteboard. However, when you turn it over, it's a completely different playing card. It's a really interesting gaff card and not a lot of places carry it and even fewer magicians actually use it because it's very hard to make. So we have rectified that issue by releasing them tonight. You get three gaff cards for $19.95, which is a pretty ridiculous deal considering that usually they're about $16 each elsewhere and you can sleep easy at night knowing that they are handcrafted to perfection in Canada so you know that the guy making them is super nice. Our last story of the day and also the only story that is not a Theory 11 plug is new information about the magic themed movie Now You See Me. You may remember we talked about the movie a few times in past episodes and even though they haven't started filming the poster has already been released. I'm very excited. It's kind of like if you were advertising for a brand new restaurant that only makes this amazing mac and cheese recipe that you made up in your head but have never actually tried to cook yet. 
I don't really know why I chose that analogy over the hundreds of other ones that I could have made up instead, but I'm very pumped and a little hungry now. The currently locked in cast of Cape Crusaders, and by capes I mean magic capes, not superhero capes, are Jesse Eisenberg, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Woody Harrelson, Mark Ruffalo, Isla Fisher, Melanie Laurent, and Dave Franco. If you are not a movie buff like me, please don't fret, I will translate. That's the dude from Zombieland, the guy who makes Batman's Batmobile, Batman's Butler, the other guy from Zombieland, the Incredible Hulk, the crazy girl in Wedding Crashers, the girl from Inglorious Bastards, and I, I'm not really sure who Dave Franco is. It really is a star-studded cast and I'm very pumped for it. You can check out the full synopsis with the power of Google, but in short, it's basically a magic heist film where apparently the cast does these magic shows where they somehow hack into banks and then feed the money into their audience and then one of them turns against you. I don't really know the full story, obviously. I don't really want to know everything until I'm sitting there in the theater, but hopefully we will hear more from this soon, and I'm very pumped for it. Well, that's about it for this week's episode. Today, during the filming of Expose with myself and my co-host Kristen, we are filming a couple cameos with some Theory 11 artists. So leave your comments down below letting us know who you think the cameos are, and if you name both people correctly, you will win a deck of white. No, a deck of monarchs changing it up this week because we've been releasing way too many white decks and I don't want people to think that we're racist. Okay, that was a really bad joke, but what can you do? Our special guests are also going to be inputting their opinions on the effect that we'll be reviewing, but just for fun, in the comments below, write a random and obscure task for them to do during the show and we'll try and make that happen. I just realized my audio recorder ran out of card space, so I probably sound terrible right now. In any case, I'll see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.